Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. So today I am going to be trying on uh, for y'all some nose rings, some septum rings here that I bought um, for like springtime. Uh, I don't have a ton of septum rings. Uh, I had a bunch of them that were fake septum rings or faux septum rings um, that like they don't have a hole there in your nose. They just like have little balls on the end that like hook onto the inside of your nostrils um and I had those so that I could kind of try out like the feel and the vibe and I loved it um and also I couldn't really feel it uh on my nose which is wild because I have autism and I could feel everything all the time <laughs> so I was like well good great news um uh, that's not annoying me so probably a real one would annoy me and it doesn't I don't even notice it's there uh I have a friend Brittany who's always like how did that not make you insane? Because she tried one of my fake ones and was like, ugh, it's awful. And I was like, I don't know. I guess I don't have nerve endings there. Uh, which I do, because when they pierce, it was awful. <laughs> my piercer did such a good job, but it's so painful for like, you know, 20 seconds and then like, you're fine. Uh, anyway, I'm going to show you some symptoms I got, um, including starting with, I guess, this one. Um, if you can see there, it's like a cute little butterfly, like a filigree butterfly. I love it. I think it looks so cute. Um, I'm a gold girly. I'm not a silver girly. So most of these are gold. I think a couple of them are silver, but that's just what they had. Um, and I don't mind wearing it on occasion, wearing a silver one. Um, and yeah, let me get started and I'll show you some of the other ones I've got here. Um, they're pretty cheap. Most of them are from Ufer. It's like O-U-F-E-R. They seem to be a pretty popular brand online for various kinds of uh, facial jewelry um, or your jewelry, I guess, too. Uh, and then a couple of them are from an Etsy shop I need to look up before I show you. Them. I'll show those last and I'll look them up in between takes. Um, but yeah, let's get going. Okay, the first one I have up is like the silver with like little gems. They look like little hearts. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, but they're like little hearts on there and uh, yeah, so let me pop that in really fast and uh, I'll show you how it looks. Okay, there it is in. I think it looks really cute. It's really pretty. Uh, I love little gems. Like that's part of why I got a septum is so I was like, I just want little more, more little gems on my face. It's so fun. Um, yeah, I love it. Oh, it's so cute. It's so like small and delicate and just like very girly and I love that. Yay. <laughs> love this one. Oh, here, while well, it's all sideways, I can show you how you get it out. So you have to turn it to the side, which is hard because sometimes they have gems that come like way high and then it kind of hurts a little bit to like shove it in your nose. Uh, and then these are clickers, so you can like pull and you can hear it like click. There you go. And then you twist it the other way out of the hole. Um, if it'll go. What happened? Please. Please. Why is it stuck? Uh, hold on. Okay, the other side got stuck in my nostril, like the other nostril, and so it wouldn't move. Um, but, uh, come on, you're almost out. There we go. <laughs> it came out. Jeez, where's my naked nose? Um, but, uh, then you just click it to close it, like that. And you can hear, uh, it's nice that you can hear it. It's like audible click so that you know, like, when it's solidly in there. Uh, I have had some before, though, that, like, click and then they, like, unclick. So they can do that sometimes if you have one that, like, gets broken or, like, weird. Um, but usually I, I haven't had any issue with them, like, staying in and being good. So, yay. That one just came in, like, some plastic for whatever reason. But most of them come in, like, these little boxes um, that are very cool. Hard for me to show without glare. <laughs> They're very cool because they have, like, kind of tough cellophane here. Um, so that they can like stay wherever and then they've got a little like uh, groove here that you can like push in to open them maybe okay get it did open um, but then you can kind of put whatever one in there you know like I can put this one in here and then just kind of whoop and then uh, it's good to go does it close does it click I don't know if it clicks um, but it's you know there <laughs> and then okay this one's like a heart and some like roses so it's a similar kind of like I don't know if that, this helps you be able to see it not really uh won't focus on it <laughs> like a valentine's day kind of vibe uh so yeah let's get this in here I'll show you how to put it in so you do that it's open uh closing is hmm supposed to click but that was pretty soft click so I'm, I'm concerned this one might fall out but um you find the hole on the one side 
uh, which is right there, and then you pull it over and then you click it so that it's in. And sometimes I kind of tug on it to make sure it's clicked. It is clicked. Um, but yeah. Oh, it's super cute. I like it a lot. They look really pretty. Um, but some of these aren't like super obvious how they look in person. Um, but I do think it's like pretty obvious once you get close up enough that uh, there's like little roses on there, which is cute. So those are kind of like Valentine's Day-ish ones that I got. And then I have like a Christmas one that was like very on sale, which is why I got it, but it's very cute. And I saw it during Christmas and I was like, maybe I want that one. And then I didn't get it because I was like, no, I don't need it. And then it was on sale. So I was like, great news. <laughs> Let me get it right now. Okay, that one was a little off kilter. I didn't want to click, but look at it. It's like red and green on there on like antlers for like a little reindeer. Because look at Christmas. It's so cute. <laughs> it's like it has like, a, like Christmas lights on the horns. Like, it's very pretty. Um, that might not be, like, super, once again, easy to see all the details. Um, but I think it looks really cute. I really like it. Um, yeah, so far, 10 out of 10. These are so fun and so cute. Most of them were under $10, too. Uh, one of the best parts about Septum Ring is uh, they're pretty cheap. Um, like, you can get fancy ones, obviously. You can get, like, solid gold ones that have been, you know, sculpted or ones with real rubies and diamonds and stuff in them. Um, but I am just looking to have a good time. <laughs> Not invest deeply into my Septum Rings. Um, so these are just kind of, like, cute. I want to say this one's, like, six bucks because it was, like you know, off Christmas sale, basically. Uh, but yeah, I think it's really cute, so yay! Okay, I'd say I have two style categories left. One of them is like kind of springy um, style elements, and the other one's just like springish kind of color scheme gems, basically. Um, so let me show you what we got there. Um, let's start with the, uh, actually, let's do the, uh, the motifs first, the like sculpted ones. So this one, is like a bunch of little flowers i can show you um see like three little flowers it's very cute <laughs> i think they're all very cute clearly um i like that a lot it's very pretty uh so just like a little bit of flowers on there that i think is quite nice um and then here let me let me see if i can oh is my stock <laughs> upset ow sounds like my dog okay let me see i said ow but it doesn't really hurt it's just uh you know, a sensation. <laughs> and that makes me say, oh. Um, so there's that one. And then I got this one. This is like, I guess a lot of these were silver that I didn't realize, which is fine. Um, and then this one, I don't usually do this as much either, so I may be a little sore. Um, it's like a bunch of little butterflies. Like, aren't they so cute? They're like little colorful butterflies. I love that. Look how cute I look. Mm. Precious. Yeah, I like that one a lot. You also might notice this is like sticking out. Um, this is my Medusa piercing I got in November. Um, and I've tried, we tried to downsize it. I went to my piercer and got it downsized. And um, like a few weeks ago, uh, I was like feeling inside my mouth and realized that it was, my mouth was trying to like he heal over uh, the back of the piercing that's in there. Uh, and I said, uh-oh, like, that's bad. That feels like it's bad. And so I googled it, and they were like, yeah, that's called embedding, and it's bad. <laughs> because if it does that, you have to go to the hospital and get them to cut it out of your face. And I said, that sounds expensive <laughs> and not fun. I don't want to do that. So... Luckily, my piercer, you know, intelligently let me keep the longer one after we downsized, which is just like you get a shorter one, basically. Uh, and they help you, like, put it in. But, uh, luckily, they were like, here, have this in case you get hit in the face. <laughs> which I often do. <laughs> no. Um, but, uh, you know, something like swelling, basically. And since it was getting, you know, covered back there, I was like, oh, I think it's not moving enough. And so it's just, like, trying to heal over because it's, like just too short maybe and so uh, I put the longer one in and since then it's been fine it's just annoying because it's too long and uh yeah so we're doing what we can do uh I do want to go back to my piercer and be like hey maybe the other one was too short is there like a middle size that I could get um because maybe there is and maybe there isn't maybe this is just gonna stick out farther than we want it to hopefully not hopefully there's like a middle ground um or 
you know, there was just still some swelling. It takes a long time for piercings to heal, actually. It's like six months or something for them to be like fully healed, which is wild because they like will seem fully healed after like a couple weeks. Uh, and then they're like, no, it still won't be. Um, so yeah, but we saved it. So it didn't cost us, you know, uh, like a hundred bucks for no reason. <laughs> Wonderful. And I'm excited for what it heals because I have like some cute ones saved that I want to put in there. Um, but I can't currently because... I don't want my face to eat it. So, anyway, this one's cute. <laughs> I like this set of piercing. Okay, here we have another one. This one's got a little bit of a dangly right there. And so sometimes I feel like that looks weird with my Medusa. But uh, it's cute. I like it. I like when they've got gems like all the way up. Like I think that's very fun and it looks very pretty. And then the little dangle guy is I think like purple. Yeah, it's purple. It's really cute. I like it a lot. So that's my first gemmy one. And then I have two more. The other two are like much more colorful, but I do think that one's quite pretty. Um, and I just like having options, you know? I'm a, I'm a give me uh, 10 options kind of lady. I've got many pairs of glasses. I've got, you know, many clothes. I've got many perfumes. <laughs> I just like collecting stuff. Especially like appearance stuff. I think it's very fun to adorn yourself in a variety of ways. Um, I'm very excited for once I'm kind of done with my weight loss and then uh, after I'm done with my breast reduction, uh, thank you, fingers crossed, we're, we're manifesting that that's going to happen this year. Um, then I'm, gosh, my stomach is so loud. <laughs> then I am going to uh, get some tattoos um, underneath the bus once that's healed, but also just like generally, I think uh, will be fun. So I'm excited to get on that phase eventually of my uh, body, my look transformation. But um, this septum's cute, I like it. <laughs> so much information. This one's like kind of the most costumey one I think that I bought. That's, you know, cause it's like a bunch of different colors on there. Oh, it looks so cool. Oh, but I like it a lot. I think it's very fun. It's very colorful. Um, and I, like I said, I like the ones that come up pretty high cause then they kind of like do a whole fan outside your nose that I think is really cute. Uh, yeah, that's really fun. I am going to have a lot of fun styling these. So see, you see many of these in the future in various outfits. We'll have to pick like, that's part of the outfit is like, what glasses do I wear? And, uh, what septum? <laughs> what, what goes, you know? Here's our last one from Ufer. Um, that's like, I think you can see it's like purple, uh, kind of pointed gems. Uh, like kind of a marquee style and then little blue ones in between which is so fun because I don't feel like a lot of septums one do like colorful gems but two definitely don't do like different colored colorful gems usually it's like they're all one color or they're like purple with like white ones in between which is cute and I think it's cute but I also like that it's like multiple colors that's really fun uh he looks great I like it a lot um it's gonna be so hard for me to decide what to wear tomorrow <laughs> um but that's all the ones from Ufer. Um, I did buy these on Etsy because they were on sale. Um, more on Etsy than they were on their website. Uh, but um, these were all the ones from Ufer. And then I am going to look up the other shop really quick so I can tell you where those ones are from. Um, but highly recommend uh, buying them on Etsy. I've had, like, I think exclusively good experiences buying Septum Rings on Etsy. Um, I think they're all quite fun. Um, I think it's a, it's a fun piercing to have. Apparently it's like uh, the you know those kind of girls piercing. It's like an e-girl piercing that um, people find, uh, I guess, judgmental <laughs> thoughts around. Um, I don't really know. I just wanted cute jewelry in my nose. So um, what are you going to do? <laughs> These last two are from Angel Piercing Jewelry, but actually um, this one that I bought is too small. It is just a teeny and it's not gonna fit well because I have like kind of a a bit of fl a flesh down there. <laughs> I couldn't have said that worse. Um, there's some, some meat down here on my nose that I have to wear. I think it's a 10 millimeter instead of an eight. I think eight's the smallest. And this one's definitely an eight because you can see the difference between like the, the rings on these two. Like this one's much smaller. And so I'm not gonna be able to fit this one, but like look how cute the little laurel leaves are. It's very cute. Uh, I'll have to check to see if I made that error because it's possible sometimes they're not very clear about the size in ordering um, or if that was a shop error. 
either way, we'll figure it out, I'm sure. Um, but these were from Angel Piercing Shop, I believe was the name of it on Etsy. Um, I can put a link for them in the description as well as the Ufer link. Uh, I don't make money off of this. I'm just having fun playing with jewelry. Um, and there you go. This one's like uh, some like pink kind of gems there in the middle and then I think white on the outside. Very cute, very pretty. I feel very cute and pretty. <laughs> okay, love that. Um, yeah, and that's it on the piercings. Uh, piercings. That's it on the jewelry for my piercing. Um, I hope you had a fun time watching me stick stuff in my nose. Uh, <laughs> um, I think most of these are like very cute. Um, the ones I fit, I guess all of them are very cute. And uh, I'm excited to wear a variety of them. Hopefully you'll be seeing them in future videos. And uh, yeah, just, you know, have fun with your appearance. I feel like not enough people are like, you know, doing doing fun stuff with their appearance. Everybody looks real basic and I want people to look fun uh, out in public, on the internet, wherever you are, you know, add a little pizzazz. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope you had a good view of talking me talking about piercings. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I should go. Um, and, uh, you know, subscribe. I never say to do that. Subscribe and like the video. And uh, I hope you'll join me on the next one. Bye.